Well, hello there, Skywinders. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, I'm going to be doing a how-to program and review on this remote that I got for free. So I'm going to start with the how-to and how to program it, and then I'll do the review at the end. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to know is that um, you're going to need two AAA batteries. Okay, so let's put the batteries in. I'm gonna use rechargeable ones, but you can use regular ones if you want. It doesn't make any difference. Okay, so I wanna start with direct code entry. So based on the brand that you have, the brand of TV or whatever device you have, um, you can look it up here on the code list. Uh, if you lose this, don't worry, I'm gonna put it at the end of the video, every single one of these codes. And uh, once you have a, a a set of codes you're usually going to have more than one per brand so you're going to have to try every single one of them so we're going to use this as an example a sony tv one two three four that's a fictional code but just for practice we're going to use that so you go to your remote you stand in front of the tv go to the remote and press and hold setup press and hold setup and that light turns on so over here you choose where you want to set your tv to TV, S bar, B ray, or stream. I'm gonna set it on TV. It flashes once. Now type in the code one, two, three, four, and the light goes out. So that means that your remote is set to that code. So now you can test it and see if your TV reacts. It'll either turn on or off. So let's do that again just for practice. Press setup, press and hold. It lights up. Choose a place where you wanna put your device on. I'll set I'll choose TV, enter the code one, two, three, four, and the light goes out. So it's ready. So just test your TV and make sure it turns on, it turns off. The volume and channels are um, controllable with these two rocker switches over here and the menu. You can enter the menu and change the input. So let's go to the TV and let's test this out in real life. Okay, so we are standing in front of an RCA TV. I have been playing with it off camera and I tried several codes and it turns out that the correct code is a 2851. So stand in front of the TV. It can be on or off, it doesn't matter. You're only waiting for it to react. If it's on, it's gonna turn off. If it's off, it's gonna turn on. So on your remote, press and hold setup. Press and hold. Light turns on. So now select the place where you want to put your device in. I'm going to select TV. It flashes once. Now type in the code 2851 or whatever code you have. 2851. And the light goes out. So now this remote is set to this code right here, 2851. So now we want to test it and make sure that everything works. Let's see if we can power it off. It powers off. Let's power it back on. It's powering on. Takes a while. Now let's see if we can control the volume. Volume up, volume down. Let's see if we can change the channel. So make sure you aim at the sensor on this TV. The sensor is way at the left. If you aim like that, it's not going to work. And you're going to think that you have the wrong code. So make sure you know where the sensor is. So let's see if we can go into the menu. Oh, aim it correctly. There we go. Let's test the arrow keys. Let's exit. So there are a few buttons that don't work correctly. So just press menu again and that'll disappear. And now let's test input. And that works. Let's test the arrows. Let's um, press OK. So everything works, so this is a very good code. And uh, like I said, there are a few buttons that will not be working. No universal remote is perfect. It's not as good as the original one, but it should at least turn on the TV, turn it off, and control the volume, channel, menu, and input. If it only turns on the TV and doesn't do anything else, try another code and keep trying, because I get a lot of people in the comments telling me that um, their TV only powers on but doesn't do anything else so just try other codes until you find the best code okay so the next thing i want to do is auto code search so auto code search is when you don't have a list of codes like this you've lost this 
so you want this to automatically find the correct code so you get in front of the tv it can be on or off it doesn't matter you're only waiting for it to react if it's off it's going to turn on if it's on it's going to turn off so it's very similar to the previous process you start out by pressing and holding setup until that lights up so press and hold so that lights up now select a place where you want to put your device in i'm going to select tv it flashes once and now we're going to send 10 codes to the tv so aim it at the tv sensor and press power and it flashes like that that means it's sending 10 codes and wait for the tv to react if it doesn't react press it again it's sending more uh, another 10 codes if it doesn't react press it again sending another 10 codes and keep doing that until it reacts so let's pretend that it reacts on this occasion so we know that one of those 10 codes is the correct one so now we're going to test every single one of them so the tv reacted so let's wait for uh, let's send a one by one code until it reacts again so do volume up and it sends one code if it doesn't react send another code volume up if it doesn't react send another code volume up if it doesn't react send another code volume up if it doesn't react send another code volume up so let's pretend that this time it did react so we want to finalize the process so let's press the same button the same button where we left uh where we assigned our device to so i assigned it to tv so i press tv again and we are done so let's go to the tv and let's test this in real life okay so we're going to program this same tv the rca tv so stand in front of it doesn't matter if it's on or off you're only waiting for it to react if it's on it's going to turn off if it's off it's going to turn on so make sure you aim at the sensor you have to know where the sensor is because if you aim at the wrong thing it's never going to program so let's start out press and hold setup press and hold light turns on so select a place where you want to put your device in could be tv as bar blu-ray or stream i'm going to do tv it flashes once and now aim it at the sensor and press the power button to send 10 codes so press power and you can see it sending 10 codes and wait for it to react so the tv did not react so keep pressing um, there we go it reacted on the second attempt so we know that one of those 10 codes is the correct code so now we want to find out which one so we're going to send one by one so press volume up volume up to send one code it didn't react send another code volume up so it reacted so that's the correct code so we want to finalize the process so press the same button that you pressed before to assign your tv so i press tv so i'm going to do that tv and the process is finished so now we just want to check that this is the correct code so let's try to power it on it's powering on and you want to check that everything works so let's do volume volume works let's change the channel that works let's test menu let's get out of menu by pressing menu again and input let's see if that works so that's a slightly different menu so let's test the arrow keys whoops i did that wrong let's do that again input now let's test the arrow keys and just make a selection press ok and everything seems to work so it's not going to be perfect but if you notice that you're missing something essential like the volume or the channel or the menu try a different uh, retry the auto code search until you find the correct code okay so we are done with the programming instructions that was the direct code entry and the auto code search now we're going to move on to the review and at the end after the review at the end of the video i'm going to uh, put all the codes in case you want to look them up or you can just leave a comment asking me uh, leave me the tv brand that you have or device brand and i'll give you the codes that i have for them so moving on to the review this controls four devices so i think that's pretty good and um as far as the plastic it is plastic all of them are plastic i've never seen a metal remote um it's pretty good high quality plastic the rubber is very nice very satisfying to touch 
I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, the only thing I don't like that it's not backlit. Let me turn off the lights. So the lights are off and as you can see, nothing lights up other than the power button. So it is not backlit, just so you know. Okay, so I think, um, can I recommend this? Yeah, I'd say a yes. I'll give it a five stars out of five. So now it's time to look at those codes. TV. Blu-ray player. Blu-ray player continued. DVD. Streaming media player. Soundbar. Soundbar continued. Cable set DVR. Digital converter box. HD TV set top boxes. TV DVD combo. TV VCR combo. TV VCR DVD combo DVD VCR combo DVD VCR combo continued VCR H tip Home theater in a box.
audio home automation media center PC game HDMI switch projector And that's it. Thank you for watching.